Welcome to Wednesdays with Wallace. This is Wallace Patterson, your host, and I am so, so looking forward to chatting with you today. And the reason being is <clears throat> I'm actually going to be chatting about something I'm very, very passionate about today. So, okay, what have I got on? Okay, I've got um, lovely, these lovely, gorgeous earrings on. I went for the zebra look today. So I've got the zebra print bracelet and Mr. Zebra here in the front of me. Why do I lift this up? La, 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 in the front of me, all glitter and all, isn't he gorgeous? She or he <coughs> and my little zebra around my neck. Yeah, I'm doing the zebra thing well and truly. And uh, I've just got this um, Moyuru dress on under here. The top I've got on is an Australian company called TS14 Plus. TS14 Plus. They have some really, really good things and uh, they're fabulous. So if you've got a little bit around your middle, a little bit of TS is the place. And uh, as I said, Moyuru, this is a dress. And I don't know whether you can see it, but uh, oops, I've got my. Um, sneakers on and a pair of leg and things sneakers are also got um well they got leopard print on them animal print see the fellow behind me um i'm into <clears throat> pardon me leopard zebras animals elephants <gasps> love 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 them all and my little girl here sitting at the doorway and i was trying to get some more light in the room here today but um Hmm. So I'm going to hold up this little sign today. I am spectacular. Hell yeah, I am. And uh, so, hell yeah, I am spectacular. I've just come back from the naturopath. I needed, needed, needed to do something about my running sinuses. And this horrible thing every time I get on to a call or get on something or a webinar or something, you know, away goes the nose and the running, you know, all the rest of the annoying, horrible thing that happens. Anyway, um, it turns out that I've got some thing happening with mold, mold. <clears throat> the rest of all my vitals are all absolutely fabulous, except this nose and head thing that hurts. Um, because of this, you know, the mould and it's gotten worse. But anyway, you don't want to hear about all that. We've all got, you know, something. But I've just come back from the naturopath and that was a nice little looking after me. I had to remind myself about looking after me and that will run into the topic for today. So the topic for, <clears throat> pardon me, and I've rattled on for four minutes, about not too much. But the topic today is transforming your passion. And I've got a few little notes in front of me here because there's a couple of few things I don't want to miss out on. Transforming your passion. Now, this is a real, this is a real favorite of mine. I love, love, love it because, and I won't preempt course I'm going to, I'm putting together that will be available very soon. But it's not unlike a lot of this and what I'm going to be talking about today. And that is, do you have a passion? Do you have something that floats your boat? Do Maybe you don't like the word passion. Um, but do you have something that um, spurs you to get out of bed for every day? Something that gets you up and going? Um, and what is that? And is that something that you're doing anything with or that you'd like to do something with? Um, I'm just the person to help you because I think that our lives are, we're not a waste, but I think we sell ourselves short in our lives if we don't pursue our passion. That might be travel. You know, I was reading about a young woman recently who 
makes a lot of money out of, you know, the travel thing. So that might be travel. It might be, um, you know, it might be, I don't know, it might be Ayurvedic medicine. It might be, um, it might be health and wellness. It might be, um, it might be a, a young man. I don't know this young man personally, but I know his sister. So I know of this young man very well, who started a fabulous um, online thing for himself, a blog area for himself online, all around uh, cactus. Can you believe that? Cactus. He loves, loves, loves cactus and all the varieties and all that. And he's got people who send him cacti from Japan. All over the world, people communicate with him and follow his blog and he goes out every weekend and he goes to nurseries and he's really into it. He loves, loves, loves it. That's his, we'll call it his side hustle. During the week, he works in the financial area. He's doing something else. He's doing very well in there. But his side hustle, his passion is um, this whole area around cactus. So I don't know, what's yours? Mine is helping people do this, helping people get themselves going, help them, helping people be seen and heard, helping people get out there and get on with it and get noticed and become, can I say this? Am I allowed to say this? Kick ass. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, so that's, you know, that's my passion. So I want you to think about what it is. Now, here's four tips, four tips. Whatever it is you want to do, don't hold back. Play big, all right? Play big. I want you to play big. So whatever it is that you're thinking about doing or you'd love to do, jump in, boots and all. Don't stick your toe in the water and see if it fits or it's whatever. And, and that doesn't mean that you can't create it as a side hustle to what you're doing, because you can. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that's fantastic. And if that's what, what you want to do, that's, you know, bloody perfect too. But don't not do it and don't go, oh, I'll dip my toe in the water and see you know what happens because there's no commitment in that and I can promise you don't bother because nothing's gonna happen so one play big b-i-g big two two to be successful at this I want you to change what you focus on okay an example if you're focused every day on lack of money in your life well then everything you do every every bit of yourself that you project every conversation that you have everything that you do everything i promise you will be contributing to that lack of because that's what you're focusing on and you'll get what you're focusing on Oops, sorry, but that's the good news. No, that's the bad news. The good news is if you change your focus, well, then what happens is that without even realising it, you'll change the way in which you do things. You'll change the things that come to you. You'll change the things that you say. And you mightn't even be totally aware of it to begin with, but things around you will start to change if you change your focus so if you're focusing on lack turn it around and start focusing on abundance and when i say focus on abundance focus on what you will do with the money when you get it and don't think about where you are right now and the fact that you haven't got any money where it's going to come from how it's going to happen la 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 because that's not it i promise you i've lived this that is not it. We're going to talk about that more in the future. The other thing I want you to do, number three, I want you to move in the direction of your dreams. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how little it is. It doesn't matter how small it is, how small the thing is that you do. 
but move in the direction of your dreams, will you? You know, if you want to, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. If you want to climb um, a mountain in Switzerland or a particular mountain or you want to take a trek to South America or whatever it is you want to do, download a picture off the internet, get a picture, stick it on your wall and put a date on it. Don't worry about how you're going to make it. And don't worry about the COVID thing and when we'll be able to travel. Don't get into all the, the logic around it because this is not about logic. This is about things that are outside of the what we perceive that is possible. So I want you to go with me on that. Just go, well, you know, she might be seeming to be a bit nutty here, but I'm telling you these are things I do. And I live an amazing life and I want you to live an amazing life as well. And you can do that because I want you, and I do it all the time, I want you to be constantly moving in the direction of your dreams. So don't start getting into, oh, I don't know how I'd get that. I don't know when I could have it. Or oh, if I was looking for that, I'd have to be saving for the next 20. La, 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 la. Put your finger down your throat and throw up. That's sickening. It's rubbish. It's all nonsense. And I've been there, done it. I got into all that nonsense. My whole life was based on the logic, the head stuff, you know, what I thought I could achieve, it's writing down all the to-do lists. You know, it's a load of hogwash. Um, there are better ways to do things. I want you to be spectacular and have your dreams. Number four, number four of the tips I'm giving you, don't put this aside. Don't put this in the tomorrow list. Don't put it in the I'll get to it or around to it list. I want you to begin today. Will you do that for me? Begin today. Even if it's going back, making a commitment to yourself, you're going to play big, changing what you focus on. If that's a difficult thing, pick out one thing and master that. Change what you focus on because you'll change your thinking, you'll change your actions, you'll change your thought processes, and you'll change the energies around it. And you'll start bringing to yourself, you watch, this is like magic. You'll start bringing to yourself bigger and better things in your life. And move, 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 get your A and a G, get your backside off the couch or the chair or whatever it is or wherever it is you've got it glued to and move, move in the direction of your dreams. When you do that for me, I'm encouraging you to do that. There's more on this. There's more coming. It's forming your passion because it's a big subject and uh, there's lots of things you can do and there's lots of things that um, I'm going to help you do. Uh, because I believe that inside you is this entrepreneur that wants to do things, wants to get out, wants to experience, wants to achieve, wants to get on. And I want you to as well. More's on the way, kiddos. And live in the meantime, live a spectacular life. Play big. Move in the direction of your dreams and watch your life start to change. Thank you for joining me, Wednesdays with Wallace, and we'll see you next time, next week on uh, Wednesdays with Wallace. Fabulous. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being present. Oh, for now.